As the world gathers to mark International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women this November, thousands of women will be trafficked into the European Union for the purposes of prostitution. As the saying goes, sex sells, and in modern Europe the sex industry has gone mainstream. In every European capital you will find neon lights advertising lap dancing clubs, strippers and topless dancing. But beneath the bright lights lies a much darker reality to the sex industry. The traffic of women from poorer EU nations into Western Europe is big business for organised gangs. Unlike drugs or arms, women are commodities which can be used and reused. Unscrupulous traffickers trick many women into leaving home with seductive stories of a better life in another EU country. The promises of a good job, accommodation and the opportunity to earn enough money to provide for the family they have left behind are often too alluring to resist. The reality when they arrive in their host country is much grimmer. Women are locked up against their will, allowed no contact with the outside world, beaten, raped and treated as, treated as little more than sex slaves. M most of the young women trafficked and some are children. Isolation and a lack of language skills means that they are trapped by a dependency on the men who are exploiting them. Ireland is alone in the EU and having no legislation governing the trafficking of human beings. While prostitution is illegal and the women involved can be jailed, there is no mechanism for targeting the traffickers. Promised legislation in this area is not forthcoming. The EU has a leading role to play in the fight against trafficking within the Union and worldwide. As is usually the case with issues that concern women and vulnerable groups, the political will to tackle the problem does not exist. European Justice and Interior Ministers and the European, the European Police Forces must, must agree a comprehensive strategy to tackle trafficking between member states and into the European Union. The organised criminals involved must be targeted ruthlessly. In addition to this, we need to raise awareness of the trafficking problem in member states and put in place a adequately funded support structures for the victims of trafficking. Finally, if we are really to eliminate the problem of trafficking, we must target the demand for prostitution. The users of trafficked women are your partners, co-workers, friends and family. If we are ever to see true equality, women cannot continue to be seen as commodities simply for the titillation of men. The procurement of sex in any form must become socially unacceptable. It is not an argument about or for liberalism or against liberalism, but an argument about respecting all human beings equally.